Hi guys and welcome to the third tutorial on how to use an Android phone. Um, on this tutorial I want to just have a quick lesson on the contact section um, and what we're going to be covering is how to add a contact, import, export and delete a contact um, and then I'm then going to make another video tutorial after this one with a few more of the advanced features of the contact directory. So for this one I'm going to be using the Galaxy S um, like previously, the Galaxy Tab has a slightly different skin, so I don't want to confuse people. So um, I'm going to be using the Galaxy S for today's tutorial. Um, so we're going to load up the contacts. Uh, I'm going to just quickly show you how to add a contact. Very, very simple. Um, on this particular phone, you can see at the top here, it's got the search bar. Um, and it's got a little cross next to it. Now that's pretty much standard across most devices. If you, if you don't have that there, you will find the option in the main menu button which on this one would be that one, um, and you'll have an option there to add. Um, so the button will be there, it's just, if you can't see it, it's just hitting the menu button, which is one of the buttons on the bottom of your phone. Um, once, you've, once you've found it, access it, and then it will either come straight up with a, with a default um, saving location, um, or it will come up with something like that. So if it hasn't come up with something like that, don't worry, um, all will become clear in a second. And this is just asking me where I want to save it to. So I've got an option to save it to the SIM, the phone, or my Google Mail account. Now the Google Mail account, the reason it's given me that option is one of the features of Android phones is it asks you to create a Google Mail account. Now what this does is it basically backs up all your, all your contacts to your Google Mail account. So for example, if you were to lose the phone and you've got a new phone, all you need to do is sign into your Google Mail account and all your contacts all your contacts will come back down so you'll never be without your contacts again um, I go into creating a Google Mail account um, a little bit later on in another tutorial um, so if you want to find out a bit more information about that one just skip forward to the next next tutorial um, and you've also got options to save to SIM now saving it to SIM SIM cards generally only hold normally the average ones between 100 to 200 contacts so if you've got any more contacts than that, you're going to be wanting to phone it, save it to phone, or your SIM card will come and get full rather quickly. Um, it makes no real difference, to be honest, if you, if you save it to phone or SIM. It's just purely to have that information to hand. If you lose your SIM card, it's quite happy to, handy to have it on the phone. But also, if your phone ever um, breaks or you can't get access to the phone, you will lose any contacts that are on there. Um, so... I generally, if if you if possible, save it to the SIM card. Um, like I said, the Google Mail is going to back your contacts up automatically for you. Um, but again, I'll cover that a little bit later on. Um, so for this particular one, we're just going to do it to to the um, to the SIM card. Um, and then once you've selected where you want to save it, now this is where if you didn't have the options of where you want to save it, this is where you're what what you know what you should be seeing right now. Um, so on this one, it's quite simple. You've simply got your name um, and phone number. And then once you've added that sort of information, just hit the save button. Now on a few other phones, it has got it may have a few other options. So like maybe like a work telephone number, a home telephone number, an email address. That kind of information may also come up there. So just fill it out how you want to and hit the save button. Once you've done that, I've already um, just added one um, called Hello YouTube. Um, which is that one there. Um, once you've done that, it displays it in the contacts directory. Now, if I wanted to, if I've popped, popped something wrong, I wanted to edit it, select the contact that you want to edit, and then again, hit the menu key, and then you have the option at the bottom to edit, which basically brings up the menu that we've just done before, so you can edit those details. Um, if you wanted to delete the contact, it's in exactly the same way. So you can go to the menu key and you've got the delete option. So you'd select that one and it asks you just to confirm and that will remove the contact for you. So it's going to select OK and now that's gone. Now on some phones as well, you can also do it by just find a contact I don't particularly need anymore. And pressing and holding on the contact, you've also got the option to delete. So you just press one finger, hold the contact, the phone will buzz, and it gives you those extra options there if you don't want to go into it. it, it into it the other way. Um, now that leads me quite nicely onto finding contacts. Um, you've got two options on, on the Android software. You've got the search contacts, so you select the little search box and then just type a, a letter in. So say so you wanted to do something again with L 
um, type in um, L and then you've got the option. So it brings up any names beginning with L, with the first names beginning with L or the second names beginning with L. So it's bringing up all my contacts there um, for me. Um, the other option you've got, which is quite handy, um, this is again, it's only available on certain, certain Android um, phones, but it's become more and more popular. So if you can see down the right hand side, it's got the alphabet on there. Now all you need to do is run your finger up and down the screen and it brings up those necessary contacts. So that's the way I prefer to, to, to find my contacts. So you literally find the letter you want and then it leaves it there so you can use the contact, um, use the contact details from there. Um, so the other thing I want to show you quickly is how to import and export contacts. Now you're going to need to maybe import contacts if you just brought a new phone and you want to take your contacts from your SIM card and load them onto the phone. So the way you do that is once you've loaded up your contacts directory, um, go to your menu button again, that one, and then you've got um, a few options on here. Now in the next video I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about the other bits and functions and stuff down there, but for this one we're just going to stick with the import export option. So if I hit import, it then brings up an option like this. Import from SIM card, export to SIM card and send name card via. So basically the send name card via just allows you to send it via Bluetooth or message or something like that. Um, uh, the import is the one that we're interested in. So we're gonna hit import from SIM card. It then loads all my contacts that are currently on my SIM card. Now you'll also see at the top of the list, we have an option to select all. So if I wanted to import every single contact that's on my SIM card, I'd select the select all. If I only want to import certain ones, I'll just tick the ones that I want. Once I've completed that, I'll hit the import button. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same with exporting. So for example, if you've just upgraded your phone and you've got a, you've gone for another Android phone or, or whatever you've gone for, um, and you want to get your contacts from the phone to your SIM card to then put your SIM card in the new phone. Um, what you do is again, press the menu button, go into import export, and it's exactly the same, export to SIM card, and then you then select the contacts that are up on the phone and save it to the, to the SIM card. I currently only have one contact that's available to go into the SIM card, so I'd select that one and then hit export. Then that then transfers all your contacts from your phone directly to your SIM card. Then you can take that SIM card out of the phone and pop it into your new phone. Um, so that's pretty much it for this lesson guys. Um, on the next one, I'm gonna go into a little bit more about the get friends feature, and the more menu which has a few bits and pieces in terms of settings and stuff that you can change to make the phone a little bit easier to, to follow. Um, so I'll see you on the next tutorial and um, keep keep sending those likes and comments and subscriptions. Um, it's really, I really appreciate it and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Thanks guys.